The uh, project we're working on is with our CSP champions TELUS and Verizon. And the project is a, a coupling between ourselves, Nokia, and Salesforce. And the topic here is intent-based. Intent-based is a well-known topic in programming and integration, but it's kind of new to the telecom space. It's critical here that we figure out a way to use intent-based because it's a way for CSPs to interact with enterprise partners in a much more fluid, frictionless way. Uh, Intent-based is being tested out here at the show. We're working with one of the new APIs that the TM Forum has developed, the 921 API. And most of our project here is testing out the use of that API in a real-world integrated project. So let's first talk about the challenges that we are trying to solve. So, in the enterprise and B2B space, service providers are moving up the value chain towards industry solutions and ecosystem partnerships. There is a need to reduce the complexity and the friction of integration across uh, the stack to deliver the end-to-end -end service across the business, operations and infrastructure layers to deliver end-to-end -end service across edge, core, cloud and software applications. And automation is really key to improving operational efficiency. Why do we want to do this? Operators are spending and will spend a lot of money on 5G technology. They're looking to monetize it. They're looking to see how can we get you know, money back from us. How can we monetize and make more money with 5G? they have an idea you know they want to be able to offer new services tailored services to enterprises enterprises who wouldn't otherwise have bought these types of solutions there but to be able to do that they also need to be able to simplify the way that these enterprises order these services as well they need to make it easier for these enterprises to order these services as well Our use case is about being able to broadcast live events. But let me first put a question out to you. How many of you have been to an event, for example, um, and you want to be able to see this event remotely, but have not had any kind of access, or the access you get, the quality is so bad, you don't know what you're looking at, you know? This could be, for example, an amateur event, you know, for your kids, you know, sports events, music events there. What this use case is about is really to try to make it easier to broadcast live events. On the left, we have a snippet of a traditional order for a 5G connectivity service based on the 3GPP standards. As you see, there is a long list of technical input parameters of which many are meaningless without telco knowledge. This is basically exposing the network complexity to the commercial layer, which should rather be focused on capturing and addressing the customer needs. Using the intent-driven method, we can simplify the communication by solely focusing on the intent and the required outcome. So if we take the live broadcast service example, this would be the service duration, location, quality, and number of provisioned or connected devices. The Nokia operations layer then receives this information and has the intelligence to process the intent and work out what needs to be done in the network to meet the expectation. 
The scenario here is that the Communications Service Provider, or CSP, has provided a portal to business customers to enable them to specify their business requirements. Instead of pushing a set of candidate projects to the customer for them to choose from, we are pulling information from them to understand what they are trying to achieve. This gives us the autonomy to determine which services we provide, but does mean we need to understand the business domain in order that we can capture their requirements and expectations fully. Salesforce had sent a service intent to Nokia Digital Operations Center for our further processing. We have received it and it is now viewable in Nokia Order Hub. From Nokia Order Hub, you are now able to see all the tasks that have been decomposed from the service intent into an executable task. While executing the workflow, we are also updating the unified inventory so that data becomes available for reporting purposes and to be used later by the assurance process. After the activation step done, ULV will send a notification to our Nokia Assurance Center, basically telling, I have a new service, please monitor this one. Related with our use case, we are monitoring this service from mainly performance management perspective, looking to multiple counters. And the most important one, it will be the KPI related with the virtual CPU utilization of the user plane function inside of the subslice in core. As with many of these Catalyst projects, oftentimes there are follow-on projects. So this is a first time working on this exact project, and we're already talking with other CSPs who approached us and are interested in working on a version 2, let's say, at TM Forum uh, Asia PAC coming up in March, and then perhaps again at this show as well.